Right, the Bushcrafter Cookery 7. You've seen the specs. Now I'm going to do a field test uh, of a bit of chopping and splitting and um, I'll have a little chat about it at the end. And also this is not a destruction test because you need a, a, a bulldozer <laughs> to, to uh, do a destruction test with this. So uh, stick around, let's see how it goes. Okay, that was the small stuff. Let's try something a little bit bigger and a bit harder. So I'll chop by there. This looks like it's uh, a beech, beech tree by the looks. So uh, let's have a look. that bit snapped but it was sort of went halfway through <laughs> so and uh, yes yeah, uh, yeah, snapped off I suppose but uh, there you go bit of hardwood if I can get this across here There you go, <laughs> let's, put that, let's put that down there somewhere. There you go, that's how thick that was to my hand. So uh, that's a bit of hardwood anyway. So it gives you an idea of what it can chop or this uh, ability of chopping instead of an, a, a small axe. So there you go, there it is. Right. Just get rid of these branches. <laughs> out the way, out the way. Right, okay. I'll have that there and I'll see what it's like at splitting. This out the way. Yeah, that'll do.
Right, let's see what it's like at splitting the wood. There you are. Splitting away. Getting through the knots. And there's uh, one go. Give it another. Take that off. <laughs> Give it another go. There you go, it's on its way, so yeah. I mean, that's the easy bit splitting wood like this. There's a lot of knots in this wood, you know it's a nice soft wood, there's a lot of knots, so uh, it's alright, it tests it even more doesn't it, it tests me as well I suppose. Right, there you go. I mean, they all, they all do that, that job anyway. So, uh, splitting the wood, knocking it down to size. Oh. oh right, there was a, a lot of knots in that wood, but it, and you little shards of wood come off like this, but it doesn't matter because the narrower that bit of wood is when doing feather sticks. Oh by the way, I'm doing feather sticks now. <laughs> um, uh, the more slimmer and curlier they're gonna be, or slimmer at least. Uh, so that's a good thing in a way. So let's have a go at doing feather sticks. Oh, by the way, um, I'm gonna show you a thing to stop, stop your hand or reduce the chances of your hand going forwards on to the blade there. And what I do is, well, there's various ways. I mean, I could do, I could do this. Or I could do, uh, put my hand right, uh, right through like that and do one, two, three twists, maybe more, depending on how you've rigged it up. And maybe another one. There you go. The reason I'm doing this, maybe another one. I don't want to do any more. <laughs> I'll just cut off the circulation otherwise. Yeah, that'll do. Because uh, the reason I'm doing that is because um, I'm, I'm going to use the point to do feather, feather sticks. You can... So I don't want my hands slipping, f or my fingers slipping forwards onto... Uh, onto the blade and this is a nice soft wood as well I'm using the jimp in there it's a little sharp the jimp in but it's not awful I'm trying not to lose them 
because I'm on this stump, I don't want them falling down that hole in there or anything like that. So I'll just save this bit. It's only, it's only bits so far. I'll put them down there on the floor. Right, let's have a look. Let's try and do it that way. And I could I could do it that way. But it I found it. I find it easier just to do it this way and push down. You've got more control. Strange knife, these cookeries. Takes a bit of getting used to. But once you're used to them, like anything, isn't it? It's all right then, you, you feel at home with it. I bet there's someone from the Gurkhas now, the Gurkha Regiment, looking at this and thinking, look at that man, look at that man, that boy doesn't have, haven't got a clue, he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he needs a lot of help. <laughs> right, I'm going to, just because I can, I'm going to get this bit of birch bark. And just scrape little bits in it, just surface bits, just to help it, you know, if it's ever damp or anything. Watch you don't cut yourself. I mean, not much is coming off as any little tiny powders, but it could make the difference, I suppose. Very careful not to cut me so Ooh, there you go, so you gotta watch. Right. Um you're not gonna get sparks off the back of this blade because because of the coating or the bluntness of the edge. It's not gonna happen, and there's no part of it that's gonna work for that. too smooth so uh, what I have to do is use this if you've got one of these you should have one of these anyway so uh, let's see if I can get this going early It's nearly going. Just about did that.
<laughs> All right. Whew. There you go, that's the hardest. All the smoke coming up. <laughs> and just to show that it fits in a PLCE side pocket. So there you go. It is sticking out a little bit, but you can still do the do the zip up. So uh, that's how far it sticks up. Okay, when it comes through the post, you'll have these couple of bits of paper. And uh, one says, Tops fixed blade knives are guaranteed to be free from defects in materials and workmanship for life. And Tops knives sheaths are guaranteed to be free from defects in materials and workmanship for a period of one year from date of original purchase. And the other one says, I, I, I'm not going to read all that, but uh, it basically says if you want to send it back to be sharpened to a factory edge, they'll do it free of charge. Okay, so that's that. Get that out of the way. And um, just like to say, the thickness of the leather there and this D ring is really thick and it's really well made. And uh, it, it's good. The sheath is all nice and hard and good. But uh, the retention, okay, but it will come out with a push. See, okay, so that's that. And um, let's get this out, put you to one side. Um, right, let's get you there. Uh, you notice I put some rope on. And that's because there's no palm swell along along the length there. It's just the same width right along. Uh, and if you're not used to chopping wood, that can hinder that your hand a little bit. Uh, you can batten it on the top, but it's hard work. Uh, it's a palm swell there, which is okay. And the handle's okay, it's just that it, it can hurt your hand a little bit if you're not used to it with that being, with no palm swell going down the length there. Um, it's full tang, bit of jimp in there. Jimping's a bit sharp, but not awful. It's okay, you can live with that. And um, it's man enough to be, I mean, it's a solid blade, but it's, it's man enough to be one blade and nothing else, you know, no saw, no knife, except it's not made for combat really, but I should imagine it could do some damage if uh, if you got attacked or something. Um, would I have a saw with this? Yes, because it's hard work. I'm not used to chopping really. It's hard work chopping, okay? You get out of breath and stuff. So um, I would carry a saw with this just for the ease of uh, chopping the wood up a little bit. Um, uh, would I carry a small knife with this? So, you know, this is like an axe and not a knife. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, I would actually, with a clipped point for combat. And so, you know, just in case you get attacked, so you can use that to defend yourself. And maybe do small stuff. I mean, I can't imagine holding it like that and splitting open a, the stomach of a fish from his arsehole. It probably could be done, you know. Give a little 
and then, you know, put it all up. But uh, yeah, a, light, a little light knife with it would be good. But definitely a saw. I definitely carry a saw with it because it's hard work chopping. I'm not used to it. So, um, so that's that. And uh, I think that's it. So um, anyway, except for uh, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching.